I think I just shot one of y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, it wasn't me. Okay, so uh, what we're actually going to talk about is Capcom, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let, I guess we can, let's just... I, I wanted to talk about how we messed up the first attempt, but I, I don't think it's worth it. Nah. Nah, we're good. Yeah, so let's just get into it. So... We're ready to move on. <laughs> yeah, move on to greener pastures. Greener... Like the Zelda demo. Ow! Oh man, see now, now, now you want to turn this into a Nintendo <laughs> podcast? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I, I, we got. We need to talk about Capcom. Because they also showed the yep. uh, uh, Street Fighter V gameplay video, the first one. Um, so I guess that's I didn't what, watch it. You didn't watch it. You just just uh, just watch any video of Street Fighter IV. You're equally good. Yeah, just. I saw y'all posting it, but no, I didn't watch it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, well, I guess they, they get the benefit of the doubt, because you know, it's too early to say, like, say anything about the game, but still, you know, they could have shown something that was a little more mind-blowing, you know, like, exciting, like, yeah, I'm excited to buy another Street Fighter. <laughs> what was I talking about, 2018? No, I, get, I think that was just uh, Yoshinori Ono, just, like, blowing smoke. Um, okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's either next year or, or uh, like the one after. It's no later than 2016. Like I just don't see that. So, yeah. So that's one of the things that Cap where Capcom is at right now. Uh, Street Fighter. Did they show anything off Marvel D Town lately? I don't think they did. I was hoping for it in the in the Sony. Experience event, the PlayStation Experience. Uh, I, you can abbreviate it by uh, calling it the PC Experience. I'm sorry, the PS Experience. And uh, that's, I mean, it's basically what it is. But you know, let's. I guess that's that's a whole other topic. Uh, yeah, I saw you talking about it. Yeah. Um, Capcom's. Yeah, they didn't show anything about Deep Down, but. That game itself is pretty... I'm okay with it. I mean, we talked about it last time, how it's, like, worrisome that, that it's going to be a free-to-play game. Deep down in your pocket. Yeah, it's going to be deep down in your pockets. <laughs> I, I have to imagine, one of the marketers has to have put down, like, a PowerPoint slide. Like, just being really smart. Like, we have a new business I mean, model, surely. Right? It's called Deep yeah. Down in Your pockets <laughs> we're just gonna name the what do you want to do with this game well i want to get deep down in the pocket yeah deep down that sounds like an excellent idea you know excellent name for a game capcom's going yeah i like that <laughs> yeah yeah for a name sure <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah 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 deep down yeah. in your pocket yeah because it's free to play that's that's why we say that it's a free to play model and you know, you, you buy money for weapons or going deeper, fighting different monsters, I guess. Pay to win. I guess, I don't know. They call them pay to win. Pay to win. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. at, at least the game isn't competitive, you know. In, in that case, it would be a bad game. If Like in here, you know, if you could just pay money to get a, a pack of dogs, kill streak, you know, that'd be pretty mm -hmm. awful. Or, you know, if you could just... That would be. If, if you could pay money for a Wiimote, like all those cheaters, that would be pretty bad. <laughs> cheaters. Wiimote in the Yeah, it's like, oh, that guy's paying to win. He bought a Wiimote. <laughs> <laughs> that takes no skill at all. <laughs> all, it, all it is is you just point to win. Yeah, <laughs> point to win, yeah. <laughs> P to W. <laughs> PTW, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. So I mean, deep down, that it's kind of funny because I'm excited for it. A lot of people are worried about it being pay to win, uh, but really most people just don't care because they haven't shown that much about the game. Like just most people are just like, oh okay, yeah, so just like another game from Capcom. That's cool. No big deal. I mean, we talked about this. Oh, go ahead. I don't think Capcom doesn't seem to, like the name itself doesn't seem to really bring in that. That uh, excitement. Yeah. Like, 
when Blizzard, all Blizzard has to say is, we're announcing a new game, and then everyone shits themselves. Yeah. Or like if Valve yeah, tweeted exactly. a picture of a crowbar, people would go crazy over it. But when Capcom announces something, it's like, oh, okay. For the most part, I mean, I, I would say what, Resident Evil probably still holds a little weight. And um, Mon Monster Hunter holds more weight than, I mean, that actually could be the most popular franchise, right? It's selling, like, it's selling a ton. Wise. Yeah. yeah. Sales wise. The problem is that it's always been a niche franchise. Like, it just, either it, never, it was never marketed well outside of Japan, or for some reason it just never picked up. I think it's, I think it's closer now to not being like that than it has been in the past. I mean, I think that, I think that people are starting to understand you know, what kind of game it is. I think that the sales have helped as far as, like, the sales that they have on eShop. You know, and I'm just talking about uh, Monster Hunter 3U. Yep. You know, I, I, I think that it's on the brink of being, like, a monster, uh, like a, a true literal monster. Like, it's yep. going to be, it should be Nintendo's premier online, you know, like like Call of Duty is for Xbox. This should be... You know, they should be announcing a, a Monster Hunter like, hey, y'all are going online, fighting against a bunch of monsters with your buddies. You know, the, you the, know. the social experience of, of gaming. You know? Correct. And it's, and it's, I mean, it's there. They just, like you said, haven't marketed it properly. Well, I think when Monster Hunter 4 comes out on 3DS, I think I expect that to do the series of Fire Emblem Awakening this the series. So Fire Emblem was always niche. Not very many sales, but you know, Awakening sold great and brought a new, a lot of new fans on board. I think Monster Hunter 4 could very well do that if they market it. Yeah, that's a very good point because that is true for Fire Emblem. Um, it was really surprising how Awakening sold so much for a Fire Emblem game, you know. Um, yeah, they said it'll be the last Fire Emblem game unless it reaches like 300,000 sales or something. It and it's sold like that. way more than a million already, so I mean... Yeah, I'll tell you what, Monster Hunter just needs like waifus. It just needs like cute anime girls <laughs> that, that you can like romance and have children with. And then that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, if they put in a dating simulator minigame in Monster Hunter and yeah. just watch the sales numbers roll away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And they have to go out and oh, say, like, God. we're never going to make Monster Hunter again unless it sales, like, six million copies. Like, Capcom, that's that's typical Capcom. Right now. Yeah. I mean, and it used to be back then, you know, back whenever I was first playing games and whatnot. I mean, Capcom held as much weight to me as a brand name as, as Nintendo themselves did. Nintendo just a hair bit more, but... It wasn't by much. I mean, I was going to own every, you know, Capcom and Nintendo game. I could get my hands on for what, you know, my NES, SNES, whatever. Yeah, it very much came down to taste. Me, like, Mega Man X was one of my favorite Super Nintendo games right up there with like Donkey Kong Country and Super Mario. Like, yeah. So, <laughs> so, I mean, I was always looking for Capcom names. Uh, my... My number one game in uh, SNES, whenever we did the vote, was uh, Final Fight. I love that game. Goodness. Played like trash.